Hello there everyone, uh, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to Stonehearth for the fifth and final part of this particular mini-series. And more invaders are approaching in case you didn't notice that uh, this little guy just creepily walking towards us. So yes, we've actually got undead turning up this time. We've got a zombie and a skeleton who have decided to pay us a little visit. So, where is my soldier? Soldier, I need you to move over here, if you'd be so kind. Which admittedly has cancelled out the um, garden marker, but that's okay. I've also set up... Um, well, they're working on an additional shared sleeping space, as you can see. But I also told them to work on a herbalist hut as well. So, might as well get a proper space up for the herbalist to do their work. Oh, you're, you're fighting now? Excellent. I'd honestly forgotten the undead were in the game until these guys turned up. <laughs> but they are a bit more dangerous. They are attacking with massive axes. So, you know. On the bright side, though, my armor is still equal to the challenge. So let's go ahead and speed it up. Yep, you're dead. And drop the zombie dropped some string. Okay. What's the skeleton going to drop? Da, 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 da. And also drop string. Okay, so undead in general drop string. Good to know. Loot those stuff, please. Thank you. But yeah, it seems like getting some buildings up it does help to boost the value of things fairly rapidly, actually. But we've also got things like um, we're growing lots and lots of silkweed, and they're already harvesting herbs, which is part of the reason why I want a herbalist up. The herbalist does require some. Um, a place to start working. But yeah, this is actually this place is starting to grow a little bit, which is quite nice. We've not seen any hostile mob bases spawn yet. We do get random hostile mobs spawning in every once in a while. They, they create their own little encampments and then they, they can get stronger over time if you don't deal with it. But I've not seen any. Daily updates. Oh, we're worth another one. Okay, accept. We've got Lolly Burly Hat. Did I, didn't I already have you? Uh, a what? Two, one, four. So again, a really bad one. Hmm. I'm not having much luck, honestly, in people. Oh well, nothing new there though. And it's got level four farmer. Does this mean there's new shiny crops for me to work on? Let's have a look. Um, by the way, in Ascendancy, if you've got a farmer that's high enough level, you can actually start farming for trees. And so you'll get a steady supply of wood. Da -da -da. Okay, I can grow wheat now. If I hit level 5, I can start growing trees. Which is, if I recall, this actually makes Ascendancy a strong one to take into... Well, it's, it's a, a well less strong, more a reliable one to take into other climates. Because there's less material early on for the... the um, carpenters and things but once a farmer levels up you can start growing trees and then they can supply all any all your wood needs from there if you hit a level five farmer whereas the other two well i don't i still have no idea what the north north guys do but the um the other group the uh clan i think it was the clans uh, they require clay as their material of choice. So it's like, um, Ascendancy have this renewable material that they can grow themselves if they need to. So that's one of their strengths. Apply all that. So there we go. So an entire group just dedicated to the new crop type. So, farmer's cart. Uh, nothing really I'm after again. I don't really want to sell much either because it's like, um, if I don't sell the stuff, then... My carpenter will work on anything required for the building projects that are going on. And look at them. They, 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 they were all working really steadily to try and start putting this place together. Oh, there is one thing I need, though. Um, what do I need to get a cook? Da, 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 da. You are high level. If I want to get a cook, I need to go through 
Oh, cook stone crafted by Mason. Ah. That's what I was going to do this time. Right, I'm going to dig a hole. <laughs> uh, slice mode. Here we go. So this is the slice where I am. I can increase and decrease the slice based on... Well, I can just do it one meter at a time, which is one block, or I can snap up by fives, which is the multiplier that it tends to use in general. But this is normally something you do early on, but I've not done it because I've just been building outside. But here, I can dig tunnels. And if you dig tunnels, you can find minerals and things like that. So, you know, I'm just going to dig some exploratory tunnels into here. More importantly, though, it gets you stone, you can get clay, and you can get metals down here, which is a more advanced material. And the workers can go ahead and do that. I should have honestly started the mine well before now, but I've been doing just fine. I'm, I'm on normal difficulty, but I've been doing just fine with only wood, and I've not needed the better stuff right now. Oh, look at them all just having fun eating their raw food. <laughs> I honestly didn't bother to look through the um, list of what I could do, so I, I didn't stop to realise that I I hadn't um, I couldn't get a cook because I didn't have stone, and I didn't have the stone because I hadn't started digging holes. So you know, it's my fault there. But I, I kind of like blunted my own growth a little bit. Yeah, you guys are still having fun, aren't you? Yes, you are. Just watch them laying down the buildings like as fast as they can. Yeah, this place is actually looking more and more like it's a, it's, it's a small settlement. Admittedly, it's all gone outside the walls because I didn't bother to custom build. If I'd custom built inside the walls, I'd have been able to fit a lot more stuff in there. But I'd have had to spend the time doing it. So, you know, it's like... Um... Ah, okay. It's like custom building. You have to spend a bunch of time if you going to put any detail into it. A goblin with a fancy hat swaggers into town. You got supplies? We take, we good. We have understanding. What's five? So this um, chieftain Ragnash the Earnest is demanding that I... Well, they, they, we take, we good. They want me to give them two silky bundles, five fox pelts, and 33 oak logs. I'm going to say no to that one now. No, no, no. You're supposed to say yes. You're supposed to feel grateful. Try again. No? Bad. Me fix badness. Uh. So basically a goblin just swaggered into town and demanded I give him a bunch of... Ah, here we go. Ah, yeah. He's got the hat. Okay, so we've just had a, a minion base spawn. So... Right, so this is what I mentioned before. It's like, um, this is um, actually one spawned by a story. You can get these randomly cropping up, cropping up as well. But these guys will send raiders at me and try to take my stuff. Which is what he meant by saying, me fix. Unfortunately, I don't have much by way of a military. So, it's time to start drafting some people. Um, let's see. I need... Um, can I Can I change you to... No, you're still a level 1 herbalist. Why are you a level 1 herbalist? Why are you only a level 1? Yeah, goblin raiding party. Why are you only a level 1? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, we've only got the one soldier though, but the goblins are coming in to try and start taking things. And they've sent 3. Actually, no, they've sent four. No, five. They've sent two warriors and three red... Okay, let's use a, a feature I've not used yet. Town alert mode. Which means that my people will gather at this hearth and they will automatically try to fight anyone that gets too close. And as you can see, they're trying to do this stuff. So my warrior is getting a bit banged up. Yeah, the goblins are definitely more dangerous, and I just... I'm not ready for it yet, let's be honest. Okay, stop doing that. They've wandered off with some of our precious supplies. There we go. And these guys are just going... Yeah, my townies are just going to start trying to 
kill this poor golden worker. I'm not sure what they're doing anymore. That one's well away. But as you can see, though, my warrior didn't have a fun time with this. Yeah, I need I need more people. I need more more soldiers. I'll just let that one go. I fended off the warriors, okay. <sighs> right. Let's see. Uh, strong body stats is what I'm after. You're a trapper. You've got four six. You're level three trapper. I can transfer him from burly hands across to being a warrior easy enough. In fact, um, they start as a level one warrior, just the same as Lolly. But because they've got um, two levels in Trapper, Brom will have slightly higher maximum hit points because all levels cumulatively increase a Hearthling's maximum hit points. Still, though, that means I'm going to lose them. Sorry, I'm going to lose level two Trapper, not level three Trapper. But still, I do need. Yeah, I'm just going to just going to change you over to. Warrior. So Bron Burleyhand is switching over from Trapper to Warrior. At level one footman. And also equips some stuff. Oh, and we got we got a wolf attack as well. So we yeah, the wolves are attacking the, the building efforts across there. Okay. We also need... Where was that one that I was thinking would be okay as a replacement herbalist? Actually, I need a level 2 herbalist before I do anything. Ah, the herbalist is almost level 2, actually. That's okay. Uh, Siebert Cooper has joined. What are you? A 415... Okay, you got a full mind. You're a decent, decent mind, but your body absolutely sucks. No offense. You, however, the full mind does make me think maybe make you a herbalist. However, Sips is a six-two-two, which also make a good herbalist. The really low spirit though means bad cleric. So just come on. Also, the fact I want Sips as a mason, I think. Do I have a mason's hammer? Can I promote Sips to be a mason? Has my crafter managed to do that yet? Uh, yes, actually. A bit of stone was acquired, so I do have a mason's hammer. There we go. Level 6 mind goes into that. Why is that red? Is it waiting on something? I think it is waiting on something. Or maybe there's some kind of resource in the way. Hmm. However, by the way, the herb my footman's hurt. The herbalist should come over if we've got any healing supplies and heal them while they rest. So that's how... Well, they will recover a little bit of health by themselves, but that's the main way of healing. It's like um, the herbalist will help to deal with all that. Ah, here comes a herbalist now. It's a block causing problems. Oh, I think that's a bit of raw resources just been left. Yeah, there we go. My healer is helping with that. I think there's something there. I need to put down a ladder piece there. And that should give access to whatever that is to get it out of the way. But people are getting a bit, bit unhappy. Mm. I think it's because the town's growing so fast and it's like... Now we've been attacked and a bunch of people are hurt. There we go. Level 2 herbalist. Good. You. I want you to... Change your job, actually. I need to, I need to do that through here. Right. Herbalist. Level 2 herbalist. Where are you? Herbalist. Oh, Herbalist. I'm looking at the, there. There's the herbalist. Crafting some coarse damage, band, damages, bandages. Change jobs. Okay. Oh, you've not crafted one yet. <laughs> right. 
What do I need to craft for that? I need to craft... I think it's leather I need for that? Yeah, but I don't have any leather. Which I need from the weaver. If I was the weaver, any immediate leather supply is going to go straight into crafting a whole bunch of other stuff. Actually, the weaver's not crafting leather. No, you're not, are you? So that's a bit of a whoopsie there. You maintain the leather. And I told it to maintain 10 hats. Ah, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, maintain 10 leather though, weaver. However, the weaver doesn't have any crafting spots down. So that's why that's not working. I need to put down the crafting spots for it. And they're fairly bulky, actually. Um, let's pop some down out here, I suppose. Actually, no, I want them near the storage. Let's be honest. A loom, a spinning wheel, and a weaver's workbench. By the way, did you notice a slight loss of frame rate just then? That's one of the bigger problems with um, Stonehearth. And I must be honest about that. And that is the fact that the more hearth things you have, the laggier it can get sometimes. And if you've noticed this little color bar down here at the bottom right, that is actually a CPU processing usage indicator. The bright green is like it's not doing anything. And then it also measures like we're, we're dedicating this much processing power to your hearth things doing this task. So it's, it's got all different tasks and all different rendering thing going on. And as you can see, it's actually spiking back and forth pretty hard. So the number of hard things I got is, and the size of my settlement has got, it's like, it's bouncing back and forth a fair bit. Like, um, this is how much of your runtime is going towards this, that, and the other. So the idle runtime is sometimes getting tapped out a little bit right now. So I'm not sure how, how safe it would be to, well, I, I can continue to expand if I wanted to. It would just be, um, it would be more a case of the game would get laggier as I get more people from this point out because, well, if, if there's more stuff on the screen, let's be honest. But um, my, my machine is approaching some soft limits, shall we say. So I've got this small village sitting around and doing stuff. Not very well organized. There's a lot of stuff out in the open. A lot of problems. But it's still pretty small. And that, I think, is one of um, Stonehearth's biggest problems. Too many hearthlings can cause issues. I'm not I'm not near that yet, though. It's just, like, starting to tickle ever so slightly. But it's still, it's still very far from the future. Most people report, like, um, it gets... It starts to get really bad if you're approaching 20 hearthstones. Hearthstones? Why am I saying hearthstones? 20 hearthlings. Ooh, I don't know. Also, why is that trader not being back with their um, stone mauls? I could do with additional weaponry. I could also probably do with assigning masonry work. Um, maintain one. Maintain one. So yeah, main. We only got a little bit of stone from the uh, stuff here. Ah, blacksmith Anna. We need that for crafting metals. Separate class. There, the, here's the trapper's knife that we started off with one. So there was, that's part of the reason why there was no rush to try and get a trapper's knife. We already had one. Though we didn't have blacksmithing, so we didn't have metal armor and stuff like that. But here's stone maul I mentioned. It's weapons. It's, an, it's a replacement for the wooden sword. It's like they give get this um, wooden, sorry, this uh, stone hammer instead just to beat things over the head with. And that kind of thing. And as you can see, there's like stone options for all the furnishings and things as well. So there's all sorts of nice stuff in here. And I've not even bothered to cook food for people because I don't have a cook. I've not made anything metal. I've not made anything out of clay for pottery. I've not even got close to engineering or geomancy, whatever the heck that is. I don't know what geomancy is at all. That was introduced after I last played. But we have got some good things going on. 
got a very peaceful little village simulator going on. And I think that's what I like about this game. And what ultimately means I think it's still a good game, even if it has some problems. I mean, there's no denying that. And I don't think it deserves all the hate it's been getting. It's like people are expecting a lot more things to be added to it, but in and of itself, played with, through eyes that were, have not seen it for uh, at least a year or so, I think. It's got to be about that time since I last touched this thing. It still feels pretty nice, pretty comfortable, pretty laid back. I mean, I could go on hard mode if I wanted to have um, a more dangerous time, but, uh, you know... Stonehearth is, at the end of the day, is a, a nice, peaceful village. Except that my halflings are crying in the foreground because I think I've not done enough to... Well, basically half of them are still sleeping out in the rain. Uh, they, they're eating raw food. <laughs> I've not done much for their conditions. So, yeah, I'm basically just rubbish as a town manager. Let's put it that way. But still, it's a nice little place. Ah, uh, well, this has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show and this little village into um, Stonehearth. I wanted to say Hearthstone again. Nope, Stonehearth. And I will catch you all some other time. Yes, indeed. Still not sure what's up with that. I think it's because stuff got left on the ladders or something. Uh, yeah. See you all later.